Hello once again and welcome back to the most beautiful fairy land of them all, Orcadia. Yep, I'm being sarcastic if you can't tell. It's fairly hideous, but here we go with some fairy night guy to tell us what's what. Aren't you from the fairy realm? How did you get here? You uh, have the fairy lord's blessing, so when you open the door to another realm, we can enter also with you as our guide. The netherworld is vast and dangerous, but we fairies will advise you, and let our armies lend support. Army? Are you talking about war? Helping you will benefit the netherworld as well. In this round, the folks have been divided into two armies and are fighting each other. We have to stop them. But how? We're defeating the war carrier folklore with you, and bringing this realm under control. But I only came here to find out about my past. I didn't come here to fight. I understand, but we care for the conflict either. But it must be done. So there we go. Let's go, Ellen. Let's find this folklore. Let's take him down. It's probably going to be the same folklore again, which is kind of annoying. They could have done a bit better. I mean, this game, the idea of this game is brilliant. They just marked it up a little bit by making you do this. I'm sure, though. The story will come together. It's nice little mystery, and I should probably use something that can actually fight. I didn't really get all of them last time, did I? Hes Henky. Oh, he's different. Water. Oh, yes, I know. Alright, let's use this guy. You're mine. You're not mine. You two, come with me. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. Should I talk about what I like about Folklore? Well, Folklore, the story is nice and original, I guess, in a, in a sense. I mean, a little bit cliche, maybe, a little bit. I don't know. A bit far fetched, but that's fine. That's allowed. If you make up your own world, it's harder to predict, obviously. And that's really good, I think that's really nice. But, and um, having two characters, I think that's okay. But when both characters control almost exactly the same, and you're exploring exactly the same region, it's kind of a little bit dull. And the fact that they force you to play both sides of the story actually, well, actually goes against it. Because, well... You play through the game once, you defeat one boss, and you're like, oh, okay, I've done it. And then you have to defeat it again, and again, and again, because that's how they decided to make it. And, uh, okay, I'm not going to complain, because I still enjoy it, but, you know, they could have done some original story. And uh, perhaps they will, perhaps I'm talking too early here, so this isn't going to be the final thing I talk about, but that's, that's how I feel so far. So anyway, we're going to keep going, keep capturing these fairies. Let's see what happens. Right, okay, so I've got two choices of two directions, and we'll go this way. If they have Excalvia again, that would be perfect, because I do like my Excalvia, and he's a great guy for taking down other ones. So, Excalvia, we're counting on you to turn up from somewhere. I don't remember this path last time. Maybe I didn't go this way. That would be fun, wouldn't it? You go a completely different way. Although I'm sure the location at the end, where we find the mist. Mr. Folklore, the big spider robot thing, will be slightly different from when we played it through his kids. It might not be. Let's have a look. That's page one. Wonder what's on page one. Let's have a look, shall we? Walk out here, page one. To defeat some guy I've never seen before, shoot him down. I can tell you that. To kill a human, shoot him down. To kill anything, shoot him down. It's not really knowledge. General knowledge, really, I guess. There's loads of them. It takes four heads to bring them down. Good. Luckily, we can combo for. Good stuff. Right, here we go. I don't think I can get all three. We can get two of these. And that one's come up anyway. Bullseye, that was actually a different one. Okay. Good, you're mine. And there's one more somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, wow, well, you're hiding in the shadow. I didn't even see you there. How annoying. Yes, you're mine. Right, let's continue. Got some things that appeared, some life drops, an explosion. That's what I needed. So let's keep going. There doesn't really seem to be anywhere we can go, so we're gonna have to go this way. This way. And there was an Excalvia skeleton there, which may mean Excalvia is somewhere around. Which is good, because Excalvia is amazing. He's one of the best folklores out there. And here we go. Hang on a second, I'm gonna need to check. There we go, right, okay. Oh, there's lots of you. Oh, it's a different guy. It's a new one. It's a shooty one. So we'll capture him. 
Just like so. Yep. So so far we've cat we've we've seen three different IDs, three different folks within this uh, realm, and they've been exactly the same as when we fought against. Well, when we did the realm as Miss Keith, which is a shame because there's so much room to do things. But I, I mean, it can't be too easy to hope for every enemy to be used as a weapon. So I guess we can give them some leeway, but you know what I mean, don't you? Replaying levels, being forced to replay levels, never really been my sort of I never really liked completing the game more than once. It's like reading a book more than once. I always find that, because I know the story, I know what's going to happen, and so the suspense is kind of not there. And I have a decent memory, usually, and um, it helps me remember everything, really, and I, I this is the direction I came from. <laughs> Having said that, yeah. So, yeah, I, I tend to remember things that have happened, and tend to remember story points stuff like that. So if I try and read a book again, try and play a game again, I know what's going to happen. It's kind of sad. Because if you wait years and years, and geez, there's a lot of them here. You're going to be in trouble, Ellen. We better slay them quickly. Right, we've got quite a lot of them there. Let's try and absorb them all at once. Go on, Ellen, get them! Ellen, what are you doing? Thank you! Go on, Ellen. Why is it so difficult? Thank you, Ellen. Oh, yeah, she's not quite strong enough to absorb lots of ones for some reason. She got Keith, that's why. And she hasn't got a special bar like Keith, which is annoying because I like that special. I don't understand. Why does it absorb you straight away? Why does it take time? Why is there a delay at all? Ellen, what's going on? Tell me. Please. I need to know, doll. It's okay, we'll collect this stuff. What's down this way? Anything of interest? Anything at all? Not really, but that leads to a map that we've already been to, so we're going to have to go this way. And perhaps we will find something that we need to see. There was an explosion, but nothing. Now, I'm going to guess there's a Brum Bear or one of those flamethrower dudes round in this room. Because I do recognise this room. And there he is. What is that? Okay, we need to shoot him down because we saw so in our books. So we use this, and we use this. I'm not sure which one we need. But that is not a brum bear. That is something new, and that's quite nice. I, I, I think new things are cool. Good, you shoot him. Oh, the gun things work a lot better on this guy, on Ellen, actually, because you can just leave them around. That's good. That's a lot better. On Keats, you have to stand still, and you have to kind of take damage from your enemies while you did it, which was a shame because, yeah, the gun guys became kind of useless because of it. The mobility is quite important in this game, if you don't mind me saying. It is one of the more important things because you don't have an awful lot of health and most of the damage you're not. I mean, it's not, it's not the hardest game in the world, obviously, but you know what I'm saying, I hope. You watched, you know. This thing is not difficult at all, it's just taking an awful lot of hits. I'm just going to throw down my guys, shoot them up, and then run away. It just seems to be quite an easy pattern. And he's literally not getting anywhere near me because I'm using ranged attacks on him. And he's taking down my minions every so often. But that's about it. It's about the extent of what he can do. Oh, run button, I'm sorry. Let's lock on. I have no idea what he's called. I mean, I, this one is one of the few that doesn't seem to be based on a Pokemon, which is quite nice. Alright, shooting him doesn't seem to be doing too much, but let's keep shooting him anyway. Eventually his soul will come out, I'm sure. It seems to be working quite well, I'm not complaining. Uh, let's keep going. On Keats, it was slightly harder because the Brumbo had loads of cavalry with him, so I, I don't know if I think I'm meant to play Ellen's through first, and maybe Ellen's is meant to be slightly easier, or maybe it's meant to be the other way around. I'm not really sure, but so far, I would say Ellen's has been slightly easier, but then of course I have already played Keats, so I know a bit more about the game mechanics than when I started with Keats, so I guess it's not really a fair test. What is this thing doing? There wasn't any more in the book, was there? Because it seems to be taking an awful lot of hits. No, it does to shoot him. Shoot him until he falls. Seems to be the plan so far. Mm. 
Keep shooting him. Oh dear, he's taking an awful lot of hits. Come on, die already. Taking more hits than the folklore did. You're just a normal ID. Honestly, this is not meant to happen. Maybe I meant to use a big guy to knock him down. Could be it. Oh, Brandy's impenetrable. How many shots is he gonna take? An awful lot. This is too many. Is he not on? Hmm. Hmm. I guess my guys aren't very damaging. Maybe that's it. Oh, he's falling over. That must be a good sign. Yes, let's catch him. Oh, he's one of these ones. He's bang, bang, bang. I'm a master of those, I've done them so many times, and there we go, we captured him, our new friend, and we ranked up as well, that's nice, level up a little bit, good, right, let's put him on, let's get him to use straight away, and what does he do, short range destroy attack, so I wonder if he's the the equivalent of our, uh, oh, what's his name, no, he looks like a bit more like a um, big version of the bar, the person that we got in the first world, and we got page three, I wonder what page three would tell us, probably how to defeat the next mini boss, which could be the tank. But then, again, you never know. They might change it up a bit. I'd like them to change it up. I've said that enough times. So it's Mr. Scarecrow. What's he have to say? Scarecrow, these fairies are... <laughs> They're hiding something from you, Ellen. A fairy lord wants to go to deep into the netherworld. But to do so, he needs to have you go on ahead. That's why you've been so eager to help you. What? But they've been so kind to me. Why does the Fairy Lord want to go right into the netherworld? Who knows? A Fairy Lord doesn't share his thoughts with lowly peons like me. So there we go, Scarecrow admits he's a peon and we are getting through Wall Caddy with a decent amount of pace. So thank you very much for watching and tune in sooner or rather than later.